Yeah, so. tough, tough this morning to wake up um, to the news that my old teammate uh, Robbie Burrow passed away. Um, has lost his fight to uh, MND this morning. Um, a fight that he's uh, been having since December 2019. Um, so honoured to have been able to share a dressing room and a field with uh, a legend um, that is Rob Burrow, um, a winner of eight grand finals, played for England. Um, he only stood five foot five, but he was a man mountain to us and a champion of a fella, a champion of a, of a dad and husband. Um, yeah. Our thoughts go out to Lindsay and Jackson, Meyer and Macy, his kids. Um, and some of the stuff that he and our captain at Leeds, Kevin Simfield, what they've been able to do with their fundraising. Kev's been able to run ultra marathons and been doing some long distance marathons. Uh, just before I left, he ran 100 miles in 24 hours. Whoa. Um, <laughs> Crazy. For, for, um, for Rob and to raise funds, they've raised over 20 million pound um, for the research in M&D. Um, and the awareness that they've created with it throughout Britain and throughout uh, the UK about MND. Um, they've reached a lot of um, families and a lot of people with their work that they've done, but they've also given a lot of support to a lot of people. And I heard somebody read something this morning, um, one of the players that used to play for Leeds, his mum unfortunately has just been diagnosed with it, but she found a lot of support through what Rob did with his fight and he fought right to the very end and it was, um, yeah, tough to wake up to that. We've lost a, a great servant, a great player and 41 is just too young but too young. Um, God rest him and, mm. and he goes in peace. He rests now, he's uh, at ease but uh, he'll always be uh, one of uh, my favourite teammates. Did you ever play against him yourself, Adam? Yeah, I was, I was young in my career. Um, you know, when I when I went over to Australia and played in the World Club Challenges for, for Melbourne my first year, 2006, and, you know, you saw this little fellow on the field and you thought, yeah, there's a spot, you know what I mean? You're going to run at the smallest guy on the field. But like Willie said, tough, um, hard to handle, quick to, um, tenacious for a little fellow. Went out there and went after everything he did. So, um, yeah, and then obviously in international stuff too, playing for, for New Zealand against him for, and when he's playing for England. Um, yeah, and again, it's, it's sad news for rugby league. I think um, for whatever, well, for everything that he's done in the game over in the UK, obviously for England and international stuff, and then for his teammates, obviously Willie's spoken about that as well. I mean, um, what a what a proud dude he was all the way to the end, um, and a strong family. Uh, his wife obviously done so much for him, but everyone around him, Kevin. You know, watched all those stuff with his marathon stuff, and you know he's carried him over the line a few times. I'm just like, man. What a dude, like one of his best mates and carrying him over the line and doing everything he can possible to, I guess, raise awareness, but keep him going, um, keep giving him hope, um, keep trying to give him some more days, uh, give him a few more years. And, you know, he got to spend, a, you know, his partner and his, his wife and his kids got to spend as much as they could with him. But now he's at ease. So, um, you know, rest in peace, brother. I hope, you know, your family as well and everyone's looking after them as well.